video today. I know, in the new workshop, looking a little bit more complete or a little bit more workshoppy since the last time you guys saw the video of when I moved in here. Been doing quite a few things. Mostly, he's got some light on. One and where are we? Two. <laughs> you know that is. Oh, a load of bolts. Great. But, no, not here to talk about the workshop today. Here to talk about a new helmet I've got. Hedden. <laughs> oh, yes. I've been waiting for this helmet for a long time. And Hedden, of course, as everyone knows, if you might not know, have a look. Sweet, 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 sweet helmets. They are beautifully made, beautifully crafted. <sighs> That's the only word to say about them. They are like the holy grail for me of helmets and to be able to own one. Oh my gosh, this is a dream come true. There is one there, here, ready. Do you know what? Actually, I'm gonna get a light on here. Let's get that light over there. That one, put it on this, on the mongrel, as it currently stands. Yes, yeah, so let's set everything up and see what's inside this box of absolute glory. We have lights and we have this box. So this, oh, this box is an absolute gem. Oh, I've been waiting for this. So I have ordered the Heron Ecstasy Racer. Only because it'll go with the Ducati that I built for the bike shed show. <laughs> this is the moment of truth. Ba -da -bam! The Heron Racer with the smoke lens. The Heron Racer with the smoke lens. Oh, this, this thing is an absolute work of art. And I'll exactly tell you why now. So going all around it, everything in detail. Let's start with the front. It's got the smoke lens, which I've got my greasy fingers on already. You wipe it down with the bag. I mean, that's one handy thing with the bag, is that it is ultra soft and ultra smooth. So yeah, that can be used as that. So it's got the smoke lens, which I really like. Obviously for daytime riding, not nighttime riding. And to be honest, I do a lot of my riding in the daytime. Right, where do I begin with this? Because there are so many beautiful features. I will start at the front. So the smoke lens, really nicely finished. Finished with these, I can't tell if it's brass or copper. I think it's more brass than anything else. My knowledge of metals fails me in that sense, but it looks like brass. But it's absolutely stunning. Look how that is machine polished with this black edging on here. Absolutely beautiful. How the visor works in with that, how it's been considered. Everything in itself is aesthetically pleasing. The visor has a clip down mechanism. It doesn't have a, a popper or a, anything to keep it in place. It's firmly kept down in place with all these learning mechanisms in here. So it doesn't need to be popped out and all sorts. Beautiful action of going up and down. It's not different stages, it's just simple open, close. To be honest, that's pretty much all you need or all I need when I'm riding. If you open up the visor, you can see this detail here, all this stitching here. So the visor itself, the entire aperture, has got this leather trim around it. It's gorgeous tan, complementary to the actual grey as well, which again fits my Ducati, which is perfect. But this leather trim goes all the way around, all to the top, down across the bottom. Beautiful stitching and finishing as well. I mean, even with the macro lens on here, you can see how it works and how it fits. I mean, this is no factory, smash it out high volume operation at all here. This is hand stitched in the UK to an inch of perfection. Same with the bottom here. You have that leather trim going all the way around. Same stitching again. You can see where the join is here, but I mean, even that join is absolutely gorgeous. How that works all the way around. It complements the leather on the inside as well. This leather is serious high quality and it's all the way around from the cheek padding to the back here. Even this little vent for air and ventilation there. But inside, is then suede. Absolute craft, premium craft at its best. You've got a suede on the inside here, just feels perfect, feels expensive, feels like a helmet should, or a helmet of this price range should. And back to the top again, 
You've got these poppers here which are vent holes, straight into the helmet, blend seamlessly nice. They get put in after the whole painting and complete with this head and badge up at the top here. Now they come in different formats. For the Ecstasy Heron Racer, because the helmet is kind of black and dark and edgy, this comes in black. But for the other ranges, you've got this gorgeous brass finish on the top there as well. The paint scheme itself, again, the attention to detail is incredible. Hand painted, each one, it's not a sticker, it's not a vinyl, it's nothing like that. It is actually painted in the factory. And then a gorgeous gloss lacquer over it all. High, high, high gloss lacquer. The finish is just unbelievable. For the Heron Racer, what I especially like is obviously the black and grey combo. It goes with the Ducati, but of course it's got that classic Cafe Racer X in the bag, that headlight X that's synonymous with the Cafe Racer industry. All in all, this helmet is just pure, pure. <laughs> I can say that. YouTube's probably gonna bleep me out now. No, let me find a better way of saying it. That's YouTube friendly. This helmet is a stunning work of art. That's what I can say, YouTube. If I do look at the bottom, mostly I'm trying to focus on the inside. You can see the head and emblem at the end there. But what is inside that is all suede. All, oh, there you go. You can just see it, how it catches in the light there. So you've got this ventilation padding around the edge there, but the rest of it is all completely suede. You can see how that attention to detail continues all the way inside. Now, it feels as good as it looks. Now, the moment of truth, what does it look on me? Obviously I'm not wearing my proper motorbike gear, but now, with a lot of helmets, what you find is that the size of them, because of the way helmet manufacturers work, they will usually do a one size shell fits all. Head and don't do that. What head and do is that they make the most perfect shell for that size head. Now I am a medium, I'm a 57 centimeter head. So I've gone for a medium. Head and in general, as a rule of thumb, and from what the manufacturers tell me as well, is that you tend to, tend to need to go a size up from what your standard is. Now I opted for the medium, Naturally, with that in mind, I would have to go up to the large. However, I have to stick to the medium. I will be completely honest, a medium in a head and for a 57 size head is snug. I do think that if I was to go up to size, it would be too loose. Because what I have to remember is that over time, because of the quality of the fabric that this is made of, it will give, it will mold into the shape of my head. Now, it is snug, but I would say that it's necessary to be that snug. There we go. Nothing fancy here, just proper craftsmanship. Simple strap, the old in and out, shake it all about, and then clip it onto the side there. It does feel snug. I will give it that. It is, again, snug going over the head. Once it's on though, I would say that size is actually pretty nice. Because what I have got, as you can see, is my cheekbones are supported. It's what you need, heaven forbid, in any situation where you come off. But I still have that movement. I've got that shake in there. It's not 100% claustrophobic by any means. It just feels nice, moving it up and down. As a helmet, this feels nice. It also looks nice. Yes, sir. I like this. As you can see, it looks perfect with that. Yeah, I mean the grey isn't the most perfect 
grey, but it's like an in-between of both those. But that's what makes it so great with us. All the different accent colours, the tan leather trim goes well with the orange on the bike. It's just a very, very complimenting helmet, even though it is the standard range. It's not custom made for this bike by any sense. But as a combo, that just looks incredible. And then the obvious Cafe Racer X at the back. As you're riding this bike, that's just going to look incredible. Oh, yes, I can't be happier for this helmet. I, I can't be happier for having this helmet, I should say, not happy for this helmet. Do you know what, helmet? I'm really happy for you. I'm really happy that you've come into this home. So, as a final sign-off, what I will say, I've got the helmet in my hand, is this is one mean-ass helmet, and I love it. So I would urge anyone to check ahead now. Go over to their stores. I know that it'll be at the bike shop this May, which, you know, is in, what, two months' time? Roughly, yeah, two months' time. I know they'll be there, so check out their stand if you're at the bike shed. Try the helmets on at the stand, really, really friendly guys there, so they'll be able to help you, advise you, and you'll be able to actually see how it feels. Head to their website, check out their helmets, and I'll be with you in the next week or so with more content for this channel. So, go check them out.